Hello and welcome to my bathroom tour. So before the makeover, this bathroom was very plain, all white walls. There were some outdated elements like the light fixture, the wall-to-wall -wall mirror, and also the shower glass door. I knew I was going to do this room one day and didn't want to buy anything for it until I knew exactly what I was going to do with it. And so it was really a blank page for the longest time. My vision for this room was to make minimal but impactful changes. I wanted to keep as much as we could so that we can stay within a reasonable budget. I love a good balance of classic and modern with a touch of elegance and romanticness and so that was something I definitely wanted to do for this space. The bathroom is where I like to unwind, take long hot showers, do my skincare routine, etc. So I really wanted to make sure that it was a place that felt very calming. So this paint color is called Magnetic Gray from Lowe's. It looks green because it's got like a warm tone in it and the lighting in here adds to that making it this really beautiful muted sage green. I put a lot of love and labor into painting this space. It was the biggest change I was making in here and I wanted it to be good. I was a little unsure about painting these ceilings at first but I'm so glad that I ran with it because it really makes this dramatic effect but the color is light enough where it doesn't feel too dark in here. So we've got this giant blank wall on this side and I knew I wanted to do some sort of wall paneling on here to create some interest. I looked up a lot of different wall paneling ideas and decided on doing a DIY board and batten wall because one, we had done it in our home office room before so I knew exactly what to do and two, I felt that it was a really nice way to bring in that classic balance that I wanted in here by topping the board and batten with a detailed molding. We've got textured walls throughout our entire home and when we did the board and batten wall in our home office room, we went in with joint compound to flatten it out and that took days of work. It was a lot of applying, sanding, and then vacuuming up the dust and I really did not want to repeat that process again. So for this board and batten wall, I started it by adding flat wall panels to it and nailing those in and then adding wooden strips on top of the panels and that made the process so much faster and easier. So in my initial mood board, I had planned on painting the countertops all white to make it look more modern. I was going to spray it down with the Rust-Oleum epoxy spray, but after finishing the walls, I realized how nicely the peachy tone of the countertop complements the green wall. I'm really glad that we're able to preserve the quality of the countertops because I honestly wasn't sure how well or long the epoxy spray was going to last. I kept the cabinet doors as is, they're just all white and I think the combination of these colors brings in warmth and a clean and fresh feel without it being too sterile. For hardware, I decided to go with mixed metals. We've already got brushed nickel happening in here. I decided to also bring in some brass accents to bring in warm. The first thing I replaced was the light fixture that had to go, it was so outdated. I brought in this brushed brass one that's way more modern. Then to tie that in, we needed a few more brass elements, so I switched out the light switch plates and the outlet plug plate with the brass ones. Lastly, I also got these burnt brass towel hooks and I thought they were going to be more brassy in person but they actually look closer to like a very deep brown, almost black if you look at it in a darker lighting but I do love how it contrasts against that green wall. So I waited two months for this shower curtain to arrive. This is from Pottery Barn and this piece is like the cherry on top for me. This was what I needed to bring in that romantic, slightly whimsical touch in this bathroom. These birds remind me of doves, 
Maybe it's because doves represent peace, but something about outlined birds really bring me a sense of calm and serenity. And I don't know, I just, I just love this curtain. I'm trying to work on this way of thinking where I only buy things that I really love on its own, even if it's for decorating a room. Not just thinking about like how it all looks together, but falling in love with each piece on its own. And this curtain is like an example of that. So we decided to keep the shower glass door behind the curtain because it is still very practical. We also don't know if we're going to be renting out the space in the future. And in the case that we do, we didn't want to make any expensive changes. We used a curved curtain rod so that the curtain is floating away from the shower door and so that you really can't tell that there's anything behind here. We also raised it high so that the curtain looks taller and more elevated. So I got two new mats for this space. They're both bath mats from West Elm. The first one is this one that we have by our shower. It's got this scalloped edge and I think it's so cute. It adds a really nice, playful, and romantic touch. This is made of 100% cotton and I believe this was designed in collaboration with a designer whose name I'll add right here. I also got this round one. This is also made of 100% organic cotton. And I really like how this adds a nice natural touch and helps to ground the sink area. So even though these full width kind of mirrors are a little outdated, I decided to keep ours because I just think it's so functional. It's nice to be able to get a reflection from any where that you're standing in the bathroom and it's useful when me and Jason are like getting ready together or brushing our teeth at the same time. So because I decided to keep the mirror, I opted out of adding wall art in the bathroom. I tried testing a few frames out in here, but because you can see the reflection of them from the mirror, it just felt like too visually chaotic. So the only major decor piece in here is this vase with this olive branch. Very minimal and the branch adds a really nice organic texture. I kept the rest of the decor in here very minimal and elegant. I got this really pretty soap dispenser and toothbrush holder that I'm using to hold our electric toothbrushes from Ross. And then I also got a really nice little hand towel from World Market. I did experiment with some towels. I thought I wanted Turkish towels or something with more pattern and color, but decided to just keep the white towels that we already own. I think it's just much more simple that way and it creates that spa feeling. I'll link everything that I shared in this tour down below. And I also reorganized our bathroom drawers and cabinets while doing this makeover that I made a video about. So if you're curious for some organization ideas, then I'll make sure to also link that video down below as well. If you enjoyed this tour, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more home decor and home lifestyle content from me, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.